What's up, nerds? Did you know that in some all-you-can-eat restaurants you have to pay for every plate you can't finish? And if you don't pay, these robots will come after you and, and chase you. Bruh. Okay, the last part isn't true, but there is definitely robots. I just don't know what their goal is. But I will find out, because I'm going to be spending the next two days or 50 hours eating and reviewing all-you-can-eat restaurants. But the catch is that we're in Spain, and uh, it's quite beautiful here, also very windy. But more importantly, not a lot of people can speak English here. Uh, do you speak English? No. But anyway, <laughs> let's head to the first restaurant where I still had long hair. Here, wait, let me just... There we go. Oh, there's a tree in the way. So apparently this is a sushi place because it... <laughs> It's called Sushi Jin and spoiler alert all of the places we're going to visit today are actually sushi places I found like 20 all-you-can-eat restaurants in this massive area I'm currently at and all of them are sushi places except this place They served grilled meat which is uh, unique and cool in this area and I love them, but they're far away So uh, I'm not going there <laughs> I don't know if you can hear it, but they're playing like some music here. Wait, let me see if I can just Oh Sorry, you scared me. Uh, do you speak English? No, no okay. English. Estoy uh, recordando Grabando? para YouTube. Ah. Voy a comer uh, en uh, buffet libres. Sí. Uh, ah, están haciendo el reportaje. Yeah, sí. Ah, vale, vale. Perdón. No, 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 no. Digo, ¿qué pasa? No? Okay. <laughs> that guy scared me so much. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I had to like survive with my tacky Spanish, but I think you understand what we're doing here. <laughs> anyway, looking at pictures of this place on Google Maps, it actually looks pretty nice. They have some Japanese furniture and, uh, you know, it looks pretty traditional, so I'm pretty excited. The only thing that really worries me is their secret rule. What? Is there a secret rule, Axel? Yes, there is a secret rule. Let me tell you about it. If you take a look on their menu, it actually says that they charge if you don't finish your plate, so... We have to finish our plate because, you know, I don't... <laughs> I don't want to pay extra. And also, I guess it's not really a secret because, you know, it says on the menu, but... Dramatic effects. Hello. Get your head in the game. Let's go enjoy some sushi. So my goal for this restaurant was basically just going to be to finish everything I ordered. The inside of the restaurants did indeed look pretty Japanese, and they had these wall things, which I believe are called choji. Plus, they also had some plants <laughs> on a wall, so I thought that was pretty cool. Okay, so I'm in the restaurant now, and I just got help with, like, you know, finding a table and everything, but I just realized something. They don't speak English here, <laughs> so I'm gonna have to use my Spanish to order. I used to be able to speak pretty good, but now it's really shaky, so we'll see how this goes. If you don't know how this works, you're basically just given a menu where every dish in the menu is assigned a number. You then take the number of the dish you want and you mark it on this other piece of paper that you get as well. But with my goal in mind I decided to make things a little bit more interesting and I ordered something I know I wouldn't enjoy eating. A octopus. We're in Spain, so I'm trying to use some uh, Spanish words in this video. Just spice it up a little bit, you know? <laughs> anyway, I quickly finished choosing what I wanted for my order. I waited for a waiter to come and help me. And then finally, it was time to test my Spanish. Uh, perdón, ¿está lo mismo menu o diferente? ¿Eh? Tengo que pagar eso y eso y solo. No, solo, 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 solo eso. Sí, sí, bueno, solo, es lo mismo para todo. Ah, ok. Sí, sí, bueno, bueno. A ver, ¿qué pasa con esto? <laughs> I have to say that the people working at the restaurant were really nice and I think the guy that helped me was called Alejandro. I'm not sure but Alejandro or whoever you are, thank you for good service. It was nice and uh, after a while food started rolling in. First up we had some seaweed salad. Devoured that in like five seconds and then we had some fancy salmon. Oh yeah. Bam! Gone in a second. But you know what? Here's some more food. Let's eat it. Samosa. Finished. Fried bread. Finished. Nuggets, finished. Chicken wok, finished. Fancy salmon, finished. You get what I'm trying to say here. I ate a lot of food. And after a while, it was time for El Octopus. Spill it a little bit. Okay, so here we have it. The final plate. El Octopus. El Octopus. El Octopus. 
I don't, I don't know what it's called. <laughs> it has these things. You know what it is. You know what I'm talking about. It's so chewy. I mean, it's not my favorite thing, but I don't think it's the restaurant's fault. I think I just don't like octopus. It's great. Octopus. It's great. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm calling it. I'm just gonna finish this now, okay? I'm just gonna be honest and say here that I don't like octopus or <laughs> squid or whatever it was. I didn't like it. In the beginning I had a pretty good pace for finishing my plate full of tentacles, but that last bite, oh my god, it took such a long time to chew. I mean, just look at me here. I'm just chewing, 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 and this is all the last bite. I'm just, it, it never stops. I just keep on chewing, and this is sped up quite a bit. But after a while I did manage to finish the bite, and by doing so, completing our goal for this restaurant. By the way, I'm only gonna give out five star reviews to these restaurants because I don't don't want to be mean however i will also post a picture and uh, i won't hide my true emotions in the picture also my sister was jealous that i was going to spain so she made me bring this banana called bob <laughs> Okay. So now Bob is going to uh, join us in all the pictures and at the end of the video we'll also show them to my sister. But anyway, that was actually really nice. I really liked this place. When I was gonna pay I got to speak to the owner and uh, I told him about <laughs> that I was making a YouTube video and he like gathered up some personnel because he wanted them to be in the video. Hola. Hola. Yeah, that was super nice. But now there's only one thing left to do. We just gotta take a picture with Bob for the review. He's in my wallet. I keep him safe here. I smile every time I see Bob. Just look at him. Look at him. He's so happy and cute. <laughs> okay, gotta, gotta find a good angle. Alright, smile, Bob. Okay, nice. <laughs> now we gotta go to the next place. And let's just move this around. There we go, and let's see, there we go, that, that, that's the place. I think I'm gonna start setting up these things beforehand so I don't, you know, I thought it was cool for a little bit. To be honest, there isn't really a lot special about this place. The only thing is that there's like um, robots here serving the food, which is kind of cringe, you know. I'm joking, I think it's gonna be amazing that there's robots here. <laughs> That's the whole reason why we're here. There's robots serving the food. Can you believe it? I thought these sushi robots only existed in like Japan, but I saw some videos on Google and <laughs> it looked pretty crazy. <laughs> so my goal for this place is going to be to get to know a robot better. Maybe a name, maybe a favorite hobby, maybe even a phone number. Can I have your telephone number? <laughs> That was a bit much. That was a bit much. <laughs> but I want to get to know the robots better, okay? That's what I'm trying to say here. So, uh, I'm not gonna do it alone either. Maybe you've seen them wandering around in the background. This is my friend Marnix. What up? And this is his daughter, uh, Jasmine. <laughs> yeah, she's a little bit shy. But I'm staying at Marnix's place for this trip and uh, they're gonna join me on this restaurant. Yes, we are. Nice. <laughs> Let's go inside. I have to say that I wasn't disappointed by this restaurant because the first thing that I was greeted by when I walked in was my untied shoelace. So I quickly took care of business and tied my shoes. But after that, I stood up and I saw it. The robot! Or more like the back of the robot. But we're gonna see the front of the robot soon. But there it was, the robot. The inside of this restaurant also looked very Asian. And the menu system worked practically the same. Every dish in the menu had a number and then you just took that number and marked it down on this other piece of paper. So, nothing new there. One thing that was new though was the addition of Jasmine's collection of dinosaurs that she had brought to the restaurant. <laughs> That's a cool dino. Jasmine. Jasmine is a really cool girl and she actually has this big collection of dinosaurs. But what I think is even crazier is that I still remember the day when Marnix called me on the phone and he was like, Hey Axel, um, I think I made this girl pregnant. And I was like, hmm. All right. 
<laughs> and now he has a child that is just sitting there eating sushi with us. So I think that's pretty crazy, but also cool. It's just such a weird thing. But speaking about kids, I think that was really the main purpose of the robots, to entertain kids. I mean, just look at it. It's a cute little kitty, and sure, they were there to serve the food to customers, but when I saw the look on Jasmine's face when she saw the robot, I was like, oh, okay, that's why they're here. But I can't say that her dad shared the same amount of excitement for the restaurant. Are you trash talking the restaurant? What about the restaurant? Are you trash talking the restaurant? Uh, yeah, yeah. It's a piece of shit. It's a Your daughter is right <laughs> The personnel of this place, I mean, they weren't like super rude or anything. It's just that they didn't really respond when you said anything. And uh, I, I guess uh, Marnix didn't like that. But back to what's important, the robots. I bid my time for the perfect opportunity to get to know the robot better. But when I finally got my opportunity, all I got was some pre-programmed phrases. What's your name? Who do you work for? I wasn't quite ready to give up now though. So the second time that the robot came, I tried again. Who are you working for? What's your name? But still, nothing. So I tried for a third time while the robot was leaving some food, and then for a fourth time as well. But once again, nothing. So for the time being, since we had so much food on the table, I decided to just uh, enjoy it. And uh, yeah, I think it was uh, pretty okay. Didn't taste bad at all. <sighs> okay, so... I'm in the toilet right now, and um, I haven't been able to find much info <laughs> on the robots. There's chat TPT and stuff, but we can't have talking sushi robots. I don't understand the logic. But anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna try to ask it one more time, but I think there's a pretty big risk that all I'm gonna get is... Um... Meow. I wasn't too optimistic about trying to get the robot to speak to me for a fifth time, but actually... I was in for quite a surprise. I asked Marnix to record me while the robot approached me for the fifth time. And as I grabbed my food from the robot, I asked it gently. What's your name? What's your favorite hobby? It's not responding, I said while turning my face towards the camera. But then, seemingly out of nowhere, the robot turned around and said... Hola Axel, me llamo Miguel. Miguel Alejandro Ignacio Rodriguez Hernández de la Cruz y Mendoza González Pérez Ramírez Sánchez Vargas Morales Flores Castillo. Has intentado hablarme en inglés, pero bueno, solo puedo hablar castellano. Ah, lo siento, señor Miguel. Solo esperaba conocerte mejor. Bueno, ¿qué quieres saber? Hmm, entonces, ¿cuál es tu hobby favorito? Axel, trabajo en varios restaurantes. Así que no tengo mucho tiempo para hobbies. Pero bueno, los fines de semana somos un grupo de amigos que se reúnen para jugar padel o hacer escalada en roca. ¡Oh, wow! ¿Cómo haces eso sin brazos? ¿De qué estás hablando? Tengo brazos. Ah, lo siento, Miguel. Bueno, la última pregunta. ¿Puede tener tu número de teléfono? Lo siento, Axel, pero no te conozco lo suficiente. Soy un poco introvertido. No. No pasa nada, Miguel, está bien, no te preocupes. Pero, ¿quizás un Instagram? Sí, puedes tenerlo, pero tienes que prometer también suscribirte a mi OnlyFans. This conversation with Miguel actually kept on going for like a couple of hours, and with every word he said, I felt like I got to know him a little bit better. So when the restaurant was closing and I saw him going back to his resting place, I was a little bit sad, but at the very least, we had completed our goal. Okay, so we're finished with the sushi place now, and uh, just first thoughts, what do you think of the sushi place, Jasmine? So the thing about this place, the food was pretty okay, it wasn't the best, but it wasn't the worst either, and um, the robot <laughs> was also funny. Miguel Alejandro Ignacio Rodriguez Hernández de la Cruz y Mendoza. But the personnel, they weren't really, you know, engaged. They didn't reply to anything you said. And that's fine, you know, it's fine. Maybe they had a bad day, I don't know. But I guess all we have to do now is take a picture with Bob. Do you want to take a picture with Bob, Jasmine? <laughs> Scared of me. This is Bob. Do you want to take a picture with Bob? Yeah. Okay, let's take a picture with Bob. I'm sure that everybody that looks at that picture will understand what to expect when they go into this restaurant. That's it for this place. Let's go to the next one. It's the next day and uh, we're at the next place. I also cut my hair. So, let me tell you all about that.
<laughs> I don't know if you noticed, but in the beginning of the video my hair was like blowing everywhere and I was getting pretty tired of it. So I decided to go and cut my hair and I want to tell you all about it. I asked Marnix if he knew any good hairdressers that morning and he told me about this place called Let Your Hair Down. So I quickly made my way there, but at one point I was trapped behind a bunch of old people, so it took quite a while to get there. But I did arrive after a while and that's when I met Joseph. Okay, so we're here at the barber with the Joseph. Uh, the world's best barber ever. <laughs> Joseph was actually such a nice guy and I did really enjoy getting my hair cut by him. But I also want to mention that Joseph told me that he had gone through some really tough times recently and you know I'm not gonna go into it because it's not my story to share. But it was really sad. So as he was finishing up my hair, I asked him if he wanted to be in a picture with Bob. And I took a photo with him and also gave him a 5 star review. So I'm just gonna say that if you think my haircut turned out well, there's nothing stopping you from clicking the link in the description and giving him a 5 star review as well. And you know what? While we're at it, if you enjoy the video, you might as well subscribe, okay? <laughs> but anyway, back to the restaurants. This is actually the best rated sushi place in uh, this massive area that I was talking about earlier. When you look at the place on Google, it actually looks pretty modern and fancy in the photos. And there wasn't a lot of bad reviews, but I did find one from Antonio that said that it started out well and then started to like lose gas after time. What does that mean, Antonio? Lose gas? Is that like some sort of fart yoke? Are you a fart? Are you, are you a little fart, Antonio? <laughs> Are you a little fart? I don't know what I'm, where I'm going with this, but I suspect it's just that it started out well and then it got worse over time. So I think my only goal in this restaurant is going to be to test if that review is uh, true. Or is it gonna start out well? Uh, are there gonna be farts in there? Is it gonna progressively get worse? Are there gonna be farts in there? I was really excited about this restaurant because I knew it was going to be the highest rated one in the entire video. I felt like the interior lived up to the high rating and they had these cool like mirror effects everywhere and I could even see myself in the ceiling so yeah that was also cool. And I also felt like everything was more well thought out in this restaurant. The menu doubled as a coaster and everything was just on two sides so you didn't have to flip around in some book. Even the paper where you mark which dish you want just seemed more simple and easy to use. Plus you can never really go wrong with a little one piece advertisement as well. So things were looking pretty good for this restaurant. For now everything, it seems like everything Antonio said was true. It started out well, the guy serving me is called Alex, seems like a nice guy. And uh, yeah, just gonna pick some sushi from this huge menu. <laughs> to test if this restaurant really was gonna lose <laughs> any gas, I decided to divide my experience with the food in the restaurant into three rounds. And then, for an example, if round one performed better than round three, then we would have lost some gas, and Antonio's review would be true, but if not, it would be false. So I started round one with just ordering some food. Nothing special, just some sushi sushi. And when I was done ordering, I handed my paper to Alex, and I was excited to see what would come next. And I wasn't disappointed, because when the sushi came to my table, it looked very good, but also simple which I actually prefer. So I quickly started munching on the sushi and oh, just <laughs> dropped that little piece there. <laughs> but I quickly started munching on the sushi and it was really good. I liked it a lot. And when Alex came to leave some more food on my table, I decided to use my Spanish to let him know. <laughs> Ooh, look at me speaking a little bit of Espanol. Or should I say Castellano, like the Spanish themselves say. <laughs> I'm speaking Spanish, okay? I'm proud of it. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so round one finish. Time for round two. Here you go, Alex. Thank you. <laughs> In round two, I raised the stakes a little bit and once again ordered an item that I usually wouldn't order. Esparago a la plancha. But I also, of course, ordered some pretty standard stuff like salmon, shrimp, and these maki rolls. But after a while, it was there right in front of me. Esparago a la plancha. I didn't really know what to expect from the esparago a la plancha. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna stop saying that now. <laughs> but I didn't know what to expect from it. I just ordered it because I thought it sounded cool. But when I took my first bite, I was actually really surprised because <laughs> it tasted, uh, yeah, very good. So in the end, it wasn't really a challenge at all to finish. Esparago a la plancha. That was the last time I'm gonna say it. Okay, I promise. Esparago. Okay, so I just finished round two and 
so far the food is delicious and um, yeah I'm just having a great time I guess no farts either no farts either but so far it's not looking good for you Antonio I don't know what you were talking about with that review my hair is amazing I know I'm so happy thank you Joseph <laughs> I like my hair. Okay, I like the way it turned out. As a matter of fact, I'm just gonna take a picture right here. Look. And then I'm gonna put it on the screen here. Tell me that doesn't look good. Tell me. I'm waiting. Actually, I can't wait. <laughs> because we have to continue the video. And uh, it's time for round three. This round I went for some ice cream that was included in the menu. Because ice cream is good, okay? and I wanted to eat it. After a while the ice cream arrived and oh man, it was looking so good. So I quickly started eating it and not only did it look good, it also tasted very, very good. Which made it really easy to finish that ice cream in like no time at all. And ultimately by doing so, completing our goal of testing Antonio's review and I guess also disproving it because the restaurant was really nice, it didn't lose any gas at all and uh, there weren't any farts in there at all. Or were there? Just as I thought my experience with the restaurant was over, I could feel a light tremble with inside of me. Something was building up. And then suddenly, my phone fell over. And I realized what was coming. It was a big old... I didn't actually fart and there was no gas and uh, it didn't slow down. <laughs> the place was great. I tried to grab Alex and like tell him that it was nice and I appreciated his help but there was a lot of customers there when I was leaving so I just told his manager that he was a great help and I tipped them quite a bit so hopefully they appreciate, uh, appreciate that. But all we gotta do now is take a little picture with Bob and show our emotions, what we feel about this place through a picture. All right, you ready Bob? A big old smile. <laughs> Okay, great. There we go. Let's head to the next location. I really need to start working on better transitions, but it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. This is the next place we're going to. So this place is actually really unique because it has uh, sushi and it also has robots. So it's not actually unique, but <laughs> Jasmine really wanted to go to it. They're already inside, Marnix and Jasmine. I also wanted to go to it. So we're eating at a place with robots again. <laughs> <laughs> when you look at the ratings though, this place actually has a lower rating than the other robot place. So maybe there's some beef going on there, I don't know. But <laughs> either way, since it's lower rated, Marnix is probably not gonna have a good time <laughs> since he didn't like the other place. <laughs> So I think my goal is going to be to get Marnix to say that he <laughs> likes the sushi, that he loves the sushi to the personnel. He was so whiny and stuff at the other place. At this place, we're gonna get him to say that he loves the sushi to the personnel, whether he likes it or not. So, let's get inside. I walked into the restaurant and my first impression was a pretty standard restaurant. They did seem to have some quick fix repairs, but as long as the food tastes good, I don't really mind. And the menus, yeah, well, I'm sure you know how the menus work by now. But more importantly, I still had our goal in mind, so I decided to have a little talk with Marnix. So now that we're here, are you excited to uh, have some good sushi or not be a wine a little bit? <laughs> And it seemed to work because the next minute Marnix was doing some weird stuff with the glasses and the possibility of us reaching our goal didn't seem so far away. But wait, we're forgetting something. The robots. Or should I say Miguel. <laughs> Oh, you know what, actually? There he is. He's right there. But I'm not gonna focus too much on him because, yeah, we have another goal in mind for this restaurant. And actually, things were almost going a little bit too well. Can you repeat what you just said about the, the girl, the waiter? Ah, I like her. She's nice. Yeah, she's nice. Yeah, I you know love that? her. Do you, what do you think about... What, what did you just say? Uh, I you, like her. You love her? I love her. Can you believe it? He hadn't even tried the sushi yet and he was already saying that he loved the personnel. It's just like I said, things were going a little bit too well. Almost as if someone scripted this. Maybe that person was me. And maybe this was planned all along. And it was. No, it wasn't. And uh, to prove any doubters wrong, I'm gonna eat this rock. Ah! Ah! <coughs> <laughs> okay, that didn't taste very good, and uh, 
I'm not gonna eat the rock. But it wasn't scripted. And if you look at my reaction here when Marnix had his first bite, you can actually tell how surprised I was by how well things were going. And for my own opinion on the food, I actually thought that it tasted pretty good. To be honest, I think that's a feat on its own because I had only eaten sushi now for two days and I was getting pretty tired of it. But still, I thought it was pretty good. Try this piece. Oh wait, I forgot to put sushi. <laughs> So boring. <laughs> yeah, it definitely seemed like Mornings was in a better mood today, and Jasmine, she was asleep. I felt kind of bad for her, but yeah, she was asleep the whole time when we were in the restaurant. But like I said, I could definitely tell that Mornings was in a better mood today, so I decided to shoot my shot and see if I could bait him into saying that he loved the sushi to the personnel. You know what I think you should do? No. I think you should ask for the waiter's name, and then you should tell her that you love the sushi. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. When she comes. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> I couldn't believe how well things were going. Now all I had to do was wait for a bit, and then when Marnix was gonna order more food, he said this. And by the way, I, I love the sushi, it's very good. Oh, thank yeah. you, could, thank could, you. I, uh, could I ask you for your name? Uh, Lina. Lina, Lina. Okay. Gracias, nice to meet you. Muchas gracias, Lina. Woohoo! We completed the goals for every restaurant. Nice job. We're finally finished. And uh, obviously we were already outside because Marnix was here. <laughs> but I wanted to, you know, make a little cinematic thing where I walked out from the restaurant. <laughs> that was really nice. The lady was really nice. <laughs> Although he doesn't know what the goal was, we uh, accomplished it. So, very good. Very good. We should uh, take the last picture with Bob. Let's do it. Smile. Yay. All right, cool. I still have one thing left to do, though, that has to do with little Bob here, so I'm just gonna transition into that. Okay, so we're back here now on the <laughs> roof or whatever with a view where uh, it all started. And I just wanted to, oh my god, it's, it's so windy. Because I wanted to have at least one picture to show my sister that wasn't outside some restaurant and with a pretty nice view. So let's take a last picture with Bob. Come on, Bob. <laughs> Stay straight for me just for this picture. It's the last one. All right, I love you guys, take care, and uh, see you in the next video. <laughs> Ooh, look at me, speaking Spanish, or should I say Castellano, some like the... <laughs> and even the paper where you mark which... <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> and even the paper where you mark which paper... <laughs> And the end, come. Then I'm gonna build it with Bob. Yeah, Bob. Had a bad insight. Then so, oi. Oh, I jumped that you're in the building also.